as entertainment has always been a winner. Some small towns in New Zealand seem to have more than their fair share of fictitious slayings. I need ambulance, police, everybody. Jumping on the trend is one of Aotearoa's favourite comedians. Tom Sainsbury's behind an all-new, totally made-up, true crime podcast. It's called Small Town Scandal. Yeah, Toby, I'll call Mitch here. I want to talk to you about something. Hang on. What are you doing here? The next time I saw Uncle Mitch, he was, uh, dead. All the excitement without the bloodshed. With a superpower for impersonating real people. Surprise, surprise. Who's most offended? But the woke snowflakes. And familiar Kiwi archetypes. That's exactly what I need at 8 a.m. on a Saturday morning. It's bound to be a thrilling commute. <laughs> into a room and there's just applause. You oh, must love it. I do. I can't get enough of it. More, more, more. Literally straight off the plane from LA, darling. Yes, Thank yes, you for yes. being Hello. here. Hello. Um, this is awesome. Where did this idea come from? Um, so uh, the producer approached me saying, do you want to do a podcast? And he was probably thinking more like um, one where I interview people or one where I get a whole lot of actors to do something. I was like, no, I want to do a, I want to do a true crime podcast where I play all the characters. So that's Just how it became. Yeah, that's how, <laughs> that's how it began. So you play all the characters mm. and they're like totally different accents and voices. Yes. How do you switch in between the different people? Um, so what we did, to, we, so it's six episodes, right? And it's in a small town called Tohoeho, which is uh, made up, but it's kind of Carterton meets Featherston, kind of that kind of region. And um, the richest man in town is murdered. And so um, the main character, who's, who is his nephew, is trying to solve this murder, right? And he meets all the townsfolk and all the kind of, all the, you know, red herrings and suspects and all that kind of stuff. And we did the first episode and I would switch between characters and it just became this, like, like, Cluster. I, won't, I won't swear. Just like, I was like all over the place. It's like the characters were bleeding into each other. So we learnt to do all the character. We did one character all six episodes, and that's and then. Oh, wow. Because it's like forty-five oh, or something. Hey. It's forty-five, but there's like in, in one episode there's like a montage where he meets all the townsfolk. <laughs> A good, a good 15 are all there. But and you it's do like them crazy. separately because I wanted to ask you to have like a five way conversation with yourself, right? Oh, now. gosh. <laughs> Most well, of uh, no, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> they all came at once and then became this one voice. But anyway, oh, yes. Oh, you're like a psychic medium. Right <laughs> yeah, now. here, here, here they come. <laughs> hey, um, maybe you can tell us, though, why you think small town New Zealand mm. makes such a good setting for true crime. That's such a good question. I, th I think because everyone knows each other, and I also think that the, the law, like, the police also know everyone. Like, in yeah. the city, like, the police are strangers and stuff. But when the law is also part of the community, it just makes it all muddied and all so kind of rich and interesting. Because yeah. you're from Matamata, right? That's right, right yes. which, uh, does, Did that inspire you a little bit? Hugely. So Tohoeho, <laughs> which is a fictional town, <laughs> is fictional, town. fictional, <laughs> is very horse orientated, and so is Matamata. So mm. Matamata's um, uh, phrase? I don't know. L slogan is the town that's racing ahead. So it was <laughs> are we going to see some of your, you know, your traditional your characters? Because yeah. I could definitely see Paula Bennett in cahoots with Simon <laughs> Bridges yes. in, a, in the dressing <laughs> room with a candlestick. Don't give it away! <laughs> no, yeah. it's... That wasn't intentional, but listening back to it now, there's definitely a vet that sounds exactly like <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know, maybe he's got a new career as a vet. Yeah. But yes, it wasn't intentional, but yes, it is, isn't it? You, are you a slightly, don't take this too personally, yes. um, obsessed with death? You've done a lot of dead adjacent character. I loved film dead. If you haven't watched it, please watch it. You're so great in it. Um, and, you know, you've dibble dabbled in some murder shows. Is this a, you know, is that a thing for you? I would have said no, but then I was thinking, like, today I just went on a deep dive into Ted Bundy. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> like, watching all the YouTube videos. So I think maybe I am... I think maybe I am obsessed with that. Just a little bit. I know. I don't know how to process... I don't know how to process that, and I do what I listen to a lot of true crime, I watch it a lot, mm. and the murder solving. I don't know. I... I, 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 I I just want to put out to the uh, country that I focus more on... I, I, I identify with the victims, not the perpetrators. <laughs> <laughs> OK, well, I'm glad we cleared Woo! that up. No. Um, if you want to see or listen to more of Tom's magic, the first three episodes of Small Town Scandal are out now. Wherever you get your podcast, please thank Tom Sainsbury. Mm. <laughs>